That's Rob Madrigal, our referee. He's ready to get us started. Matt Lucasio calling the action along with Jason the Centurion Bellew in for Mike Finch tonight. And Lima starts it out with a big leg kick. And Hunt's on a single. Caught that right hand. I think that's uh, that must have not have felt good. That was a good knee up the middle there by Lemus. Wolf trying to connect those hands and he gets Lemus down. So nice takedown early on for Wolf's first offense of the evening. Watch out for that arm bar. Lemus here. looking for an arm bar here. Nothing. Now Riot Waller sitting right next to me in his corner That's telling him to go right for the Omoplata. He's stacking them really good. He's got to watch, watch out for that transition from uh, the that elbow. Has looked to be a little low there Put your feet on this hill, from this, but maybe not. Let's see it here. Looks solid. Oh, mm. He's working it. He's got to get his his right leg there. Sure, you can hear Ryan Waller yelling for an old plata from Jose Lemus. Wolf has his knee on the stomach there. It's going to be kind of hard for him to transition to that. See how he's got the knee yeah, and I think the on the body there? Is oh, yeah. Blocking Lemus just a little bit too from trying to get what he wants to get done. But, I mean, Wolf, but Wolf is not out of danger yet. Now he's got to watch out for the roll though because he can transition it to an R bar from there. So here we go. So Wolf is out of danger now. And he's going to try and. Lay down some ground and pound on Lemus. And these seem to be getting go through. Guard, go guard. So Wolf now mounting some go offense go after go. surviving the submission tape. Now knee on belly right into mount. That was way too easy. Now a back mount rather. Looks like he's got one hook in. He's trying to work the body triangle it looks like. He's got two. Now Lemus has him in a like a headlock from our position. His oh, corner telling him to turn it back. Oh, Well, now, 30 seconds left for Nick Wolf to work. Should he be able to catch a sub here? He's trying to soften him up with punches. Now looking to blade that forearm under the chin of Jose Limas. Of course, Limas is controlling that arm. Wants to try to bring it over to the other side of his head there. The time is short here. We're going to make it to round two. But interesting first round. Lemus did have a catch. But then ate some punches after he lost it. So we'll see how they score that. Don't forget, follow the XFO on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Yeah, you still got your MySpace going? I make that joke every week. Don't yeah. even bother laughing. Mm -hmm. And yeah. anyway, at XFO MMA. Yeah, we got to edit that out, right? <laughs> There's some of the handiwork here by Lemus and Wolf. Yeah, Wolf, Wolf maintained very composed, you know, through all that. Lemus definitely was trying some submission attempts there. and. Uh, yeah, he looked to be in real trouble at one point in round one. That one arm bar looked really deep, and then they were trying to get him to roll through to an omoplata. He was stuck up against the cage there, and Wolf defended that pretty well. Yeah, Lemus was unable to get the oma um, due to the neon belly by Wolf, so yeah. um, definitely some good submission defense there. Let's see what where round two gets us here. from Koba Jiu-Jitsu. That's, I believe, on the north side of the city in Chicago. And then Wrecking Ball just moved their facilities from Volo to... Mundelein. They are now Mundelein. Oh, yeah. Clint Blackburn. He so, also trains students over at Conquer, um, which is a mixed martial arts program they have at um, the Libertyville Sports Complex. So oh, cool. he's also training guys over there, too, so... We will see Juan Avila, another one of his fighters, in just a little bit. We were supposed to have Kendra Kazmaier fight on this card, but that was scratched, so we look forward to seeing her in the future. Pump that jab, pump that jab. So 
getting ready for round two. Here we go. Very nice hip throw by Lemus. He ended up in uh, right into a dominant position here. Uh, he's in scarf, there's no doubt. Look at this, pushing that right arm down. And he's got it trapped, and now he's going to pound away, Jay. He's got to be careful. Oh, got to watch out for that roll. Okay, Wolf got the arm free now, so he's able to fight the hands a little bit. They're calling for him to do it again. Put the foot over the arm, and then he'll be able to pound on Wolf with no defense in the way. Not a fun place to be, especially up against the cage in Scarf. Yes, Wolf needs to look to get on his left hip and start scooting um, toward uh, Lemus's right leg and come out the back door there. Meanwhile, Lemus heavy. He's oh, going to tap. tap. Oh, yeah. Wow. Jiu-Jitsu there. Well, let's take a look at this again. A bit of an odd submission. Here's where the nice throw was. Lemus got him down, and it was definitely a... Definitely trouble time for Nick Wolf there. Now let's watch this. This is where he was putting up. It's like a, he get the tap here? So that's like a. It's like an Americana. Yeah, um, he wrapped up that arm, arm in it. It was a lock with his legs. Definitely an arm lock. So nice job there by the Copa Jiu Jitsu. Phenomenal hip fighter. toss and then really good control from the scarf position. There's no doubt about that. Nice job by Lemus. Ray Ladies and gentlemen, decision. the end comes one minute, five seconds of the second round for your one by way of tap out due to modified key lock, Jose Lemus. <laughs>